Good morning. Thank you for watching. It's another beautiful Lord's Day. We're just sitting out here on the front porch watching the birds fly around. What a beautiful uh, world the uh, good Lord has made for us. Uh, this morning we'll get on our sick list. We've got Paul Lehew, Ashlyn Hare, John Hare, Judy Powell, Doyle Duke, Steve Comer, Melissa Bogle, Naomi Blair, Lee Heath, Clint Blanton, Luana Peeler, Terry Parham, Benny Blair, Taylor Blanton, Terry Gannon, um, Sharon Armstrong, Becky and Lonnie Barks, Pam Brown, Thomas Bogle, Alice Banks. And we need to send sympathy to the families of Flora Mayo, Sharon O'Donnell, uh, Charles Grizzle, and Della Ryan, and uh, Sharon Reeves. Uh, so please keep all these folks in your prayers. Um, and this, this morning, we got a little lesson right here. Uh, I'm going to come out of the New Testament. Um, we're going to go to uh, Colossians chapter 3. And we're going to read into just a little bit of chapter uh, 4. Uh, and this is talking about uh, things that we can do uh, that we can put off the old man and put on the new man and do things different. Uh, it says, If then you have been raised up with Christ, keep seeking the things above where Christ is, seated at the right hand of God. Set your mind on the things above and not on things that are on this earth. And that goes back to our lesson from last week. We were talking about uh, uh, about this world not being our home. We've got to set our mind on the things above. Think about uh, uh, think about uh, good things that you can do uh, that would please God and uh, not about the evil things that, are, that you do, you know, that's happening on this earth. And, and uh, we can think on the things above, think about heaven and the good that's going to come to all the Christians. So in verse uh, 3, it says, For you have died, and your life is hidden with Christ and God. When Christ, who is our life, is revealed, then you also will be revealed with him in glory. Therefore, consider the members of your earthly body as dead to immorality, impurity, and passion, evil desire, and greed, which amounts to idolatry. So that's the things that we've got to get rid of. Uh, we got to quit those things if you're doing anything like that. For this is on account of these things that the wrath of God will come. And in them you also once walked where you were living in them. So that's saying that, you know, before uh, you became a Christian, you know, you were, uh, these things were in your life. And so you got to get rid of those things and become a Christian and put off all that stuff. It says, but now you also put them aside, anger, wrath, malice, slander, and abusive speech from your mouth. Do not lie to one another since you lied, You laid aside the old self with its evil practices. It says, do not lie to one another. You know, um, Satan, he's the father of lies. He wants to lie to us all the time. He wants us to believe that doing this stuff is okay and that God's okay with it and uh, and that we can still go to heaven uh, well that's a lie God uh, Satan is uh, just a father of lies and he he don't want anybody to go to heaven uh, in verse 10 and I have put on the new self who is being uh, renewed to a new uh, true knowledge according to the image of the one who created him a renewal in which there is no distinction between Greek and Jew, circumcised or uncircumcised, uh, barbarian or Scythian, slave or free man, and Christ is all and in all. So that means everybody is included. Uh, we can we can have a renewal of ourselves. We can become a, a new person through Jesus Christ. And also all of those who have been chosen of the body, holy and beloved, Put on heart of compassion and kindness, humility and gentleness and patience. That's what we're supposed to do. Uh, that's the good things that Christ would have us to do. And it says, bearing with one another and forgiving each other. 
whoever has a complaint against anyone, just as the Lord forgave you, you so also should you. So that means if we uh, if we have anything against our brother, we need we got to get that worked out. We got to get it gone out of our life, and that's uh, that's just a, a thing that Satan would have us to do. If we're Christians, we got to get uh, we got to do better. We got to be good to our brothers and sisters, and uh, and the, and the, our uh, and the folks in the world. You know, we got to show them a good example. <clears throat> And in number 14, it says, And beloved, all these things are put on love, which is the perfect bond of unity, and let the peace of Christ rule in your heart, so which indeed you were called in one body and being thankful. So we got to, we've got to put Christ in our heart, and, uh, and we've got to think on things like that. We've got to uh, think on Jesus and how he would want us to act during the day. And we got to be thankful that he is in our life. And it says, Let the word of Christ richly dwell within you, which all wisdom, teaching, and admonishing one another, in psalms, hymns, and spiritual songs, singing and thankfulness in your hearts to God. So we've got to uh, thank Christ for uh, all the wisdom and the teaching and, and that he has given us. And we've got to spread that around. We've got to teach our brothers and sisters and, not, and the folks that, you know, that are not Christians. We've got to teach them um, the things that they need to know so they can go to heaven too. Uh, we should be glad and we should have thankfulness in our heart, uh, being thankful for what God gives us. You know, we might not have everything, but God gives us enough to get by. And, and that's... Uh, We'll, we will be uh, well rewarded when we get to heaven, you know. We'll, we'll have the good things then. You might not have good things here on this earth, but you'll have good things in heaven. It says in number 17, And whatever you do in word or deed, do all in the name of the Lord Jesus, giving thanks through him and God through the Father. So whatever you do, make sure that it's good. Don't do evil do good and in that way uh, Jesus will be happy and you can give him thanks for, for giving you the ability to do that and it says wives be subject to your husbands that is fitting in the Lord and you know if you're a man you should you should be good to your wife and take care of her and and, uh, and, and be respectful of her and it says husbands love your wives and do not be embittered against them it says, Children, be obedient, uh, obedient to your parents in all things, for this is well uh, pleasing to the Lord. Fathers, do not exasperate your children that they may uh, not lose heart. The slaves, in, in all things, obey those who are your masters on earth, not with uh, external service as those who are merely pleased men, but with sincerity of the heart, fearing the Lord. Well, whatever you do, do your work heartily as for the Lord rather than for men. Uh, I was talking about a fellow the other day. He's getting ready to retire. And uh, there was some uh, folks kind of aggravating him a little bit about slacking off, you know, and not doing anything. And he said, you know, the Bible tells us that we're supposed to work heartily, you know, for the Lord. As if we were doing it for the Lord. And he said, I guess that's what I'm going to keep on doing. And I was proud of him for that. Uh, so... Anything you do, you know, if you if you've got a job and you're going to it and, you, and you're just slacking off and you ain't, you know, you're not giving it to your hundred percent, that's a bad thing because God don't want you to do that. You're getting paid for that. You need to do all you can. You need to do good work. And uh, it says, knowing that from the Lord you will receive the reward of the inheritance. It is the Lord Christ whom you serve. For he who does wrong will receive the consequences of the wrong which he has done, and that without uh, without partiality. So it, it says, you know, knowing uh, that you will receive the reward uh, of the inheritance, that's, that's going to come from Jesus. Uh, and he who does wrong will receive the consequences. So Satan is going to take care of that part of it. So if you've done wrong, uh, Satan is going to be uh, who you're going to be dealing with. 
and it says, and we're going to start in a little bit in chapter 4 there, and it says, Masters, grant your slaves justice and fairness, knowing that you uh, too have a master in heaven. And it says, devote yourself to prayer, uh, giving alert in it with an attitude of thanksgiving. So um, we got to devote ourselves to prayer, you know. We got to keep up. We got to keep doing that. Uh, keep praying. You know, we're told in First Thessalonians 5:17, it says, "Pray without ceasing." We've got to do that. We've got to pray without ceasing, and that means, you know, we. I think we had a little lesson on that here a while back. Pray without ceasing. Keep your mind on the Lord. Keep your mind on the things that you could be doing. You know, I've got something right here in my hand, and this is a Bible. I don't know if you can see it or not. It's a New Testament. My grandmother gave this to me, and I think I was about 10 years old when she did. Uh, you know, she had to make a special effort to get this, uh, to get this Bible, and I've had it. Uh, I'm 64, so I've had it 54 years. And uh, so do something like that for if you've got grandkids or somebody like that, a young person, do something good for them. Do them, do, Go get them a Bible and give it to them, and maybe someday... Uh, they'll be sitting on their front porch preaching out of it and uh, you know do something good that's uh, that's you know we got to put off the old man don't do the stuff that the old man wants you to do do the good stuff that the Lord Jesus Christ would have you to do uh, be good to somebody pass it along you know I know people have probably been good to you pass it along be good to somebody else and uh, so that's my little lesson for today I sure do thank you for watching. Um, please keep our service men and women in your prayers, our doctors and nurses and the first responders and the, the, the folks that keep us safe and healthy. And, and uh, please uh, continue to pray for our sick list and those that have lost loved ones. Um, pray for our missionaries that they can spread the gospel uh, wherever they may be. Well, thank you for watching. I hope you have a blessed day. Uh, go out this week, and I'll give you a challenge right now. to Go out this week. Uh, call somebody and tell them you love them. Do something uh, extra this week. Um, you know, there's a lot of evil in the world right now. We've got to overcome that evil. Uh, we got to get better at things that we do. Put off that old man this week and do something good. Put on a new man and do the things that Christ would have you to do. Thank you for watching. God bless and see you next time.